Hey guys, it's Icy New Year, and I am here with a one-shot episode. Don't worry, this is only going to be one episode. I'm trying out what early game is like and better than Wolves 4.7z. Uh, um, so we're going to create a new world. We'll call this world first. Um, and for the seed, we'll call this, we'll put the seed in as suggestion. How about that? No particular reason. The world is first, and yeah, suggestion. The main reason I'm doing this is because um, I thought Flower Child would enjoy seeing how I flounder through the early game again. Of course I spawned this snow biome. I think that there might be something coded into Minecraft to force me as Icy New Year. Wow. Look at all these derped up settings. Peaceful. No sound. Let's fix that. I think there might be something coded into Minecraft that I, as Icy New Year, am automatically forced to spawn in a snow biome every single time. So we'll see. Um, yeah, early game has changed. I honestly am not sure how I'm going to deal with it yet. I do know I need a lot more wood than I normally get. I'm not sure exactly how long I'm going to play this, um, but as I said, I'm only going to be playing this world... For this one episode, I can't really have three different Better Than Wolves series going at once. That's a bit insane, even for me. Okay, I do have three different bet. I can't have four, because if you count uh, The Wandering Vagrant, that's three different Better Than Wolves series going on at once. So we're just going to do a one-shot, see how this all goes. The new balancing changes to early game tools are kind of insane. But I'm excited about uh, trying out the wool armor in-game in um my better than icy play i mean wool armor's kind of pointless except for decoration i'm sure i'll be wearing some because it's cool looking but i don't actually need to use it per se okay we got seven wood i'd like to get some stone asap Ooh, got ourselves a dog and a beach now that we have some wood we can take a moment to look around what do we have in way of food not much. We have a dog. Another dog. I am way too used to the lush richness of swamp biomes and all the beautiful things they have to offer. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get some stone tools going. Split that all up. Start out with a crafting table. We want to get an axe ASAP. So we are going to need... Let's go ahead and make a couple wooden picks. And for those of you who have not seen 4.7, you're probably going, why the hell did you make three wooden picks? That's ridiculous. But here, this will explain it. One. Two. And three. Boink. So there we go. Now we can make our stone pick and this is going to be awesome you guys ready for this i just need to get a couple stone axes and i'm definitely going to want a, a second stone pick so here we go one two three <laughs> four five and, of course, six. So, we've burnt through a ridiculous amount of wood already. And we have... There we go. I keep forgetting that that is, like, an, how you can lay stuff out now. I'm getting used to all that. There we go. So, we're going to want a second stone axe. So, let's go ahead and get six more cobblestone. Oh, we need a furnace, too. This is going to take a bit. We're going to try to move as little as possible. And there we go. Six more cobblestone. Ready to go. I'm thinking we'll go ahead and grab two stone picks this time. See, now Better Than Wolves is just an experiment in exponential gains. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm... I've been playing this for less than five minutes, and I already cannot freaking wait for iron. My god. 
I want iron. I'm pretty sure that's the point. It's to push us towards iron and make getting iron feel amazing, which I am sure it's going to. It already did. When I got my first iron tool in Iceopolis, oh my god, that was a grand feeling. It was one of those da 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 hell yeah feelings, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I know what I mean, so if you know what I mean, huzzah. Yeah, there we go. We got a stone pickaxe and enough stone left over to get a furnace. And it only took us six wood, six logs. I think that's pretty much the most efficient way we could have done that. And we have a stone axe, a stone pick, and a furnace, and a work table out of six logs. Not too shabby, I guess. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do about food. That's kind of a big issue. The one thing I can say is that with these changes, I hadn't before because I really enjoy caving, but I will not be strip mining. I mean, it's just pretty much ridiculous to try and strip mine before you get iron tools. So we would definitely be caving. Speaking of caving, looks like we got a little bit of a cave right here. Let's just poke in a little bit and hope like heck we can find a bit of coal. Nothing in this cave. Worst cave in A. So... I am jumping way too much, and I have nothing in the way of food. I wish I could just eat snowballs. Okay, there's a lot of dogs, and I, I am constantly being tempted to kill one to try and get its delicious, delicious dog meat, but I know it's just going to butcher me. There's nothing in this hole. I still want to be able to eat flowers. Nope. Nope. I've been playing Don't Starve far too much. Oh, look at him. Look at him. We're going to name this little piggy dinner. Come here, dinner. Mmm. Excellent. That is... Oh, crap. I don't know why he didn't hurt me more. Oh, my God. Look at that. That creeper just gave me almost a full pickaxe worth of cobble. So, creeper mining is actually fairly effective. Dangerous, but it'll save you a lot of uh, a lot of work there. And now I would really, really like to find some coal. Yes! Magic, magic coal! Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Give me that coal. Give me that coal. For those of you worried about my other series, don't worry. Um, better than I see, I have a new episode coming up soon. Um, Iceopolis. I think I'm going to actually record Iceopolis right after this one. Oh. I think we're going to set up in uh in here. I mean, this is looking pretty good. I'm, I'm liking this. Nice big old room. This is a much more luxurious room than we normally give ourselves. So, there's our doorway. We got us a furnace. Let's start out with, nope. I really need to, oh, come on, put the food in first. I need to stop the habit of using coal um, as my primary, like, cooking source. Because I, I have a bad habit of doing that. It's just purely out of habit. I'm used to, when I need to cook something, throw some coal in. And I keep forgetting, oh yeah, coal's kind of valuable now. I should probably not do that. Um, so, let's go get the rest of that coal. And I actually want to make two picks here. I'm going to have to make sure like I always have a backup pick, which is really odd. Ah, uh, one more bit. Unless there's some more hiding under there. Isn't it? Of course not. And I'm going to grab some cobble. I'm going to finish this pick off. And then I think I'm going to grab a bit more wood. There we go. Another... Did I? Okay. I absolutely love cobble being a resource. That means so much to me. 
And not only did, is this stressing my cobble supplies, which, you know, is the most obvious thing, it also is really stressing my wood supplies. And I think that's cool. Early game... I hate chopping down trees. I think anyone who's watched my channel knows that. I find it to be the most boring part of Minecraft. So it might seem kind of odd to you. Where is that piece of wood actually at? There it is. Okay. Um, so it might seem kind of odd to you guys that I'm enjoying the fact that my um, cobble supply is being stretched, stretched, uh, stressed here. Not my cobble supply. My wood supply is being stressed. But the fact that the uh, lack of wood is significant it means I feel like I'm accomplishing something when I go around chopping down trees as opposed to it just being a super boring activity where it's just like okay well I need tons of wood the fact that you know wood is a valuable resource it's kind of like um mining for diamonds some people don't like mining but when you get diamonds as your reward it's worth it that's kind of how I'm feeling about wood now it's like, I hate chopping down trees, but wood is ridiculously valuable, so it's not as annoying to me. Does that make... I don't know if it makes any kinds of sense, but I hope so. And we need me a door. I know I could use a trap door, and mobs wouldn't be able to bust it down, but honestly, to me, that feels super, super cheaty. And I have a heavy suspicion that that is going to be changed in the future, so I'd rather not get used to relying on it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make two more torches. Actually, no. Let's, we'll go ahead and make four torches. That brings us to six torches total. And I don't remember if these heal hunger at all. They do. And I don't know how much... I don't... I think This is one of the mechanics I'm never sure about. Healing. Does healing make you use hunger faster, or is it, like, completely unrelated? I've never actually known that, because if healing doesn't make you use hunger faster, red mushrooms are actually a decent source of food in a pinch. I'll have to check into that. I'm just not sure how to actually go about testing that. It's one of those things, like, I kind of... I've assumed it both ways, and I've never been sure if I'm right. It doesn't seem like it, though, because my hunger hasn't gone down. So because it's night, I'm actually going to go ahead and top off my food with these poison mushrooms. Um, I think that might have just been a normal tick. We'll hold off on eating that last one, and we're going to hope for the best here. But yeah, until morning, I'm going to stand right in this spot, use as little hunger as possible. Oh my god, what was that? I don't like it at all but yeah um i'll be back come morning guys see y'all soon and we are back i lied i moved slightly i walked over here to make an axe because there was a zombie at my door and i was afraid he was gonna break in see that guy he wants in here real bad so let's chop him a new one chop you a new one okay so what we are gonna do is grab some more cobble and a whole nother six cobble, which is pretty awesome. And today we're going to spend most of the day searching out the area for both food and see if we can find any surface iron, surface coal, stuff like that. Because we need that low-hanging fruit. Low-hanging fruit is like our lifeblood right now. Also, I need to make sure that I, at all times... Look at that axe. That's a beefy axe. At all times, I need to have an extra... Um, enough... I need to hold... Ugh, wow, talking isn't do right. Huh. I need to, at all times, make sure I can make at least one stone pickaxe. That is a creeper. He wants my body. Hi, spider. We're cool. We're cool. Look at that creeper. He wants me. He wants me bad. That creeper wants to be worse. We're okay. We're okay. Let's go collect the spoils of the creeper's glory. Hmm. I wish he had killed that spider. I would not mind some string. Okay. So we need to find some food. The positive thing is I have not actually seen that many zombies. So they probably haven't eaten up all the local wildlife. The negative thing is... I don't see any native wildlife. 
So when when no, that's just bad. That just means I have no food. And a hungry icy is a grumpy icy. Hmm. So what are we gonna do? I would love I would kill a man right now for a bone. I would literally kill a man. Like, probably not like my dad or my brother, but maybe like my godfather. I'd probably kill my godfather to have enough bones to tame one wolf right now. Because with one wolf, I could kill some other wolves for some delicious, delicious wolf chops. I'm just afraid. Like, I feel like if I attack one of these wolves, it is going to just decimate me. It would also be nice protection against mobs. I cannot believe wolves are useful. Like, that is kind of blowing my mind. That happened once before. Uh, one of the times in Better Than Icy, I believe, I died. And that is so tempting. Oh my god, so tempting down there. More tempting right here. Mm, get it. We have to pick up one more cobble, so we have enough for a pick. Should it die, which it will. And we're going to grab ourselves some iron. Iron! Oh, yes, delicious iron. Oh, yes. We need... Oh, so much iron. So this makes the choice of first tool even harder. Because I was kind of leaning towards a hoe as a first tool. Like, just so you can start getting your farmland going. But I'm kind of leaning now towards a pick as my first tool. Having these six-shot picks is just so painful. And there's an Enderman just exploding lightning across the sky. Just because he can. Just wants to express his dominance over the world. I'll give that to you, Mr. Enderman. Okay. Okay. So, there we go. We've got seven iron. Mmm. And I fell in a hole. I hear a pig. Oh my god. Cave pigs. Where is he? Where's this legendary cave pig everyone keeps talking to me about? Oh my god. It's scary and dark. Mistakes are gonna be made, guys. I can already feel it in my bones. Oh my god, spider dungeon! Run, run, run. Oh god. No. Um. So I was gonna pillar out of here, but I kinda can't because reasons. So. That was terrible and simultaneously amazing. If we can get in there and get that delicious, delicious loot, we might be able to get some bread or even some iron, and I would just, oh, I would pee myself with happiness. Actually, I really have to pee. I had, like, an energy drink and half a soda and, like, a two-liter bottle of milk. I have to pee so bad. So I might literally pee myself with enjoyment and excitement. We'll see how this goes, guys. Um, remember that thing where I said we need to always make sure we have enough cobblestone to make another pick? Listen to that advice. That was great advice. That advice was so good, in fact, that I wish I had taken my own advice. <laughs> because I didn't. So here we are. Back to wooden picks. And I just used six, seven, eight wood. Eight wood to get two pieces. Ow. So let's go ahead. Get myself an axe. Oh, I have one axe. So there we go. I hear that pig and he is taunting me. Now that pig... He's just like, hi. You could eat me if you could only find me. And I'm like, damn it, pig. I want to eat you so bad. Please come. Come into my warm, tasty mouth. 
It's nice in there, I promise, Piggy. Oh, <gasps> the pigs. They weren't in the cave at all. Oh, no. Don't even do this to me right now. Oh, I want that pig meat so bad. Oh, I can't swim. Do not step in the water. The water is death. <laughs> okay. I see that tasty bugger. How am I going to catch him? He's going to be so fast. How do I deal with this pig? How do I deal with this pig? Don't you run to that ravine, Piggy. No! Oh, you jerk. You get your ass back here. Let me eat your bacon. He just... Oh, my God, that pig. Mm, I'm coming for you, Piggy. Come hell or high slabbed water, I am coming. You get over here so I can eat your bacon. Mm. <laughs> Guys, that was literally the most ridiculous pig chase ever oh god yes and i'm poisoned oh yeah that food poison oh cow 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 before we get back to famish we need to kill this cow oh get your ass over here cow i need your cow meats no get over here mm. get over here <laughs> I am now starving. Oh, God, he lived. Okay, we're, we're only hungry. We're, we're okay. Where are you at, Cal? Where, where'd he go? Did he fall down here? I cannot believe we were just outrun by a cow. I hear more cows. Oh, there he is. He's hiding. We're going to sneak up on him real quick. Here we go. Oh, right in the face head. I meant to say face hole. Then I just took it a whole different direction. I'm like a man of mystery over here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I would really rather not have to eat this thing raw. So, yeah. We are going to try to get ourselves a furnace real quick. See what we can do about that. Because I do see some coal here. Looks like we can build ourselves a nice little shanty in this hole. That hole goes a lot deeper than it had seemed. No shanty in that hole. But we should probably dig in such a way that we can hide for the night if we need to. Because I feel like we're going to need to. We are famished again. Um, and we are running low on pick. I hear a delicious sheep. All, like, all I can think of now is food. Like, I hear monsters. I hear any noise. I'm like, can I eat it? Can I eat this rock? I mean, if I get hungry enough, I feel like I can eat a rock. Dirt? Pff, I've been there. I'll eat, I'll eat dirt. I don't give a shit. I'll eat it all. This is pretty much like better than wolf early game better than wolves. I um it's just all about food. Really, it's just like how am I going to find my Imagine that you were a hobo on the streets of New York City. Life hasn't been good to you. It's really just kind of slapped you around. And then Flower Child just punches you right in the giblets. It's like <laughs> nope. That is early game better than wolves. Except somehow it's incredibly fun. Okay, so... Okay, cool. We still have enough. There's our furnace. And there is our next pick. And I do want to take the time to pick this up. We gotta be real careful about this. Okay. Come on. Come on. Pop up. Anytime now, crafting table. I almost made a mistake and made an axe to pick up the crafting table. 
Like, I was about to do that before I was like, oh, yeah, I need a freaking pickaxe. And we're going to block this off with the furnace. And we're going to cook up that delicious beef. First things first, we need three stone. And then we're allowed to mine coal. Oh, look at that roaring fire over there. I am still using, which I believe is Magic A's uh, Anima Craft, I think is what it's called. An animated texture pack. It just animates a few things in Bed in the Wolves. Torches, um, furnaces. There's a couple other things. I just don't remember what they are. It's pretty cool. I really enjoy it because it's, you know, other than that, it's just vanilla. And it's just that nice little touch. The torches are what got me. I think they look amazing. Mm, I cannot wait for this delicious steak. Oh, it's going to be so good. Oh, I thought that was iron for a second. I got super excited. I had three steaks for some reason. I thought I only had two. Mm. Oh, God, yes. Delicious steak. Just, just scarf it all down. We'll use the rest of that to smelt some iron up. Oh, yes. That is the bee's freaking knees. Okay, so we are going to, once again, three cobble, and then I guess three coal if we can find it. I just like that half of your pick is dedicated to getting your next pick. And then you can actually do work with it. There we go. Ooh, good bit of coal in this vein. I like that. Mm, 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 mm. I hear something. I think someone's out here. We need to go ahead and dedicate this pickaxe to getting ourselves an axe. That sound is the burp. The burp was a touch of absolute... It was like a stroke of genius. Because it is such a slap in the face. Just listening and knowing that something just ate food that you needed. It is the biggest slap in the face, and it is just... It's a good touch. It's a very good trolly, trolly touch. Um, Yeah, we'll go ahead and finish that up. We're going to tunnel our way out of here. See what's going on. There we go. And I'm running low on wood. Come morning, we'll have to get more. But until then, we're going to go ahead and make two more pickaxes. And I need to be able to see when it's morning. There we go. That should help us see. Perfect. Oh, no, you didn't. You get your ass back here. Oh, it pushed it the wrong way. Mmm. Better not despawn. I'll be so angry if that despawns. Look at those nuggets. Mmm, dim nuggets. Yes, until then, we're going to grab some more coal. I can't believe I made it out alive. I'm going to be honest. I thought those spiders had me. I really honestly did. Okay. Yeah, I think... um. I can give a pretty good analysis of my feelings so far in comparison to the last major changes to early game it 4.7 D is significantly harder but in a very good way I feel desperate at the beginning of the game and I think that's fantastic like that is a feeling I've missed that absolute desperation like what what am I going to do? You know, how do I, how am I getting out of this situation? And like, that has been, I just locked my ass in here. I'm out of wood. Guess we're going to start breaking this. I'm, I'm really enjoying that. Okay, this, I felt like it took a lot shorter to break than it should have. Um. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dim free meat. Oh, dim free mutton. Ha 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 ha, free mutton. Free mutton. Yeah. 
I'm I'm very excited about that free button in case you didn't notice. I do feel like I'm punching this a lot faster than I should. Um, I feel like that almost is going as fast as a pick. I'm going to have to check and see if that's a bug or if I'm just imagining things. Like, I don't have wood to test right now, but I'll compare it because that feels like I'm punching through that a lot faster than I should have been. Like, that feels like I'm actually punching through that faster than I could punch through um, a block of wood. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. Come morning, we're going to see what's going on. I see some movement out there, and that scares me. We're going to poke around in these caves a little bit, since we do have some mutton. We're not as desperate for food. Mm-mm-mm. I could kind of poke around here. Let's poke around over here and see what we got going on. We do need really some wood before we can do too much. I thought I saw a spider. Cool. There is some iron down here. Uh, if there's at least two, that'll bring us up to one ingot. So we could make a shovel. Ooh. And what we got over here doesn't... I don't see any iron. I wonder if I can steal a piece of wood real quick. Come on. Let's get out. I hear someone tro trooping in here. Okay, cool. Let's leave. Okay. We stole a bit of wood from the outside. That felt like a really big accomplishment. Stealing just that one block of wood from outside just felt amazing right there. I'm going to say. Okay, so we need to get at least one piece of cobble. And there's enough for our next pick. And we're going to be real careful about this. I hear skeletons, but I don't know if they're over this. Okay, so. Let's check out this. Oh, it's only one piece. Come on. So let's grab a bit more of this coal while we're over here, though. There we go. There we go. Oh, crap. No. Oh, my God. If I get super lucky with this one bone, I could get a dog. But I don't think I want to risk it. I really don't think I want to risk it with a single bone. Like, that's just too much chance for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to eat this mutton. And we're going to poke around. And we're going to look for... Hmm. Well, I don't want to go without this ingot. Oh, I really didn't need to take that damage. Let's take this with us. And we'll take this with us. And let's go find another cave. I shouldn't have left everything in the first one. I should I should have had an extra door on me. But nope, I left it in the first cave thinking I'd find it again. I should have known better. But no, no I didn't. I never know better. We are going to grab some wood, though, because we're pretty much out. And then we're going to check around and find ourselves a good old-fashioned cave. I feel very much like an intruder now. Um, and, like, in vanilla Minecraft, or honestly even be better than Wolves not too long ago, you start a world, I I'd start a world, and I'd feel like this is my world. I get to tame this world. I get to own this world, and, you know, I'd come across monsters, and monsters were, you know, the invading force. Now, I feel like the world belongs to the monsters, I am the invading force, and I have to fight tooth and nail to make a foothold here. And that is a really cool feeling. Um, 
like all the recent changes, hard mode change. Oh yeah, the, the grass sways. I forgot that's another thing on the texture back. All the recent um, changes to early game have just completely altered the feel of the game for me, and I like it a lot. So I know I probably shouldn't have eaten that. I should have started a mushroom farm, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. I'm hungry, dude. Freaking mushrooms are delicious. So we need to find food and another cave. That is our priorities. I hear cows. Mm. I've never been so excited to hear their laggy footsteps. Mm -mm -mm. Where are you, you mooing steak man? Oh my god, I want to put you in my tummy. Cow, I want you in my tummy. Oh, I see him. I see that mooing steak man. There's a couple of them, actually. Ooh, more damage. Wait, what did I just do? Okay. I don't know how I managed that with a button press. Come on, pin him to the tree. Oh my god. Yes, one stake. Oh, we got him stuck in a corner. Oh, two steaks. Four steaks. Yes. Okay, let's see if we can find a cave before we need to um, sit down and cook this, because I wouldn't mind being able to look for iron while I'm cooking. That would be the bee's knees and or the cat's pajamas, or possibly bees who have knees in cat's pajamas. Are cat's pajamas, like, pajamas for cats, or are they pajamas with cats on them? Or are they just a pair of human pajamas that a cat happens to, like, sleep on a lot? A phrase I've never understood. We're gonna eat one of these raw, and hope that we get at least two off of him. The other positive thing is we're getting leather. Look at that. Where's my leather? Am I blind? Oh, yeah, I am. Seven. It's in my hot bar. I'm a dunce. Fantastic. We're going to get some armor. Just beat cows to death with steaks. That is what life is really all about. Guys, if you've never found a cow in the wild and just beaten it to death with a raw steak, <laughs> you really haven't lived life. And I I pity you. I honestly do. Just get between get it between you and it. Oh... Oh, you just wait till I eat, cow. I'm num num and slap him with a steak again. That is, that's really, that's actually how um, the human race became sentient. Like that is our actual creation story. We started out as this non-sentient race, and then the first Homo sapien found a bit of cow and slammed it against another cow's head until that cow died ate it, and it turned out that that was the uh, stake of knowledge. I don't know where I'm going with this, but... I don't know, true story. You can look it up on Wikipedia in like 20 minutes after... Give me like an hour after I release this video, and I'll... St I you can check it on Wikipedia. Um, I just have to learn how to edit a wiki. For unrelated reasons. The article on Homo sapiens just needs some cleaning up. But I swear, if you check that article... You'll, uh, you'll see I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. Okay, so this is a cave, my friends. This is a cave that is inhabited by creepers. And I went into hungry at the last second and couldn't slap him. Nice! So I need to be careful. We're going to find a bit of this cave to park our bum in. So we can cook up our delicious cow. Um, I, I really sh Let's eat one of these. We'll eat one raw. That way we can at least slap creepers away from us. Oh my god, there's some iron. Don't go down there, Icy. Do not make this mistake. You've made this mistake many times before. 
Today is not your day to die. Hmm. That looks tasty. Um. Let's see. Let's go ahead and slap our stuff here. Boom. Boom. Oops. Boom. So we're going to put raw beef, a couple coal, and let's get to mining. There we go. We're going to dig ourselves out right here, right behind this whole thing. A little hidey hole. Come nightfall. Ah, uh, yeah. So we can put that there. We can put... Oh, yeah, I can't place things while... God, that's such a satisfying sound. Okay, um... We're gonna put a bit of wood up here. Do not pick that up with a pick, I see. Do not do it. We got nine. Okay, we're doing all right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're gonna go get that coal, that iron real quick. And... Let's see. There we go. We're going to grab a second bit real quick. Yeah. Oh, there's more back there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, look at all this iron. Mm-mm-mm. Fantastic. We got at least one more piece up there. So we're going to hide in here. We got ourselves some steaks. We're going to put our magical dirt slab of protection right there. And yeah, we are doing okay. Let's fill ourselves up on this delicious uh, free range animal cruelty free steak that we bought. We didn't beat it out of a cow and we bought it from a uh, cow vendor on the street I guess and we're gonna cook up our iron ore and I think that we are going to accomplish our goal of one iron ingot here it comes here it come guys it only took us almost 45 minutes yep I gotta say um 4.7 is incredibly challenging and incredibly fun. Oh yeah, let's wait for it to shine. Come on. Shine. Shine. Shine for me, Iron Ingot. Wait, did this not shine? Huh. Okay. But yeah, it's incredibly fun. Incredibly challenging. Um. Oh, there's that shine. There's that shine. Look at that. I highly, highly recommend it. Yeah, it's fantastic. But remember to like, comment, and sub. Guys, I will see you back in either Iceopolis, Better Than Icy, The Wandering Vagrant, or all three. Have a great one.